you know, I, I was like back here like singing and it was like. I wonder if there's a difference between the Wimsy 5 and the Wimsy 5. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Perhaps. Yeah. Well, what we did though, I made mean, the parents, we were watching on our computer and we, uh, uh, oh.
Please stand. My soul is thirsting for you, O oh Lord, thirsting for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for you, O oh Lord, thirsting for you, my God. Thirsting for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Life, death, and resurrection are the themes of our readings, culminating with the rising of Lazarus, the raising of Lazarus. As we approach uh, Easter Sunday with the sacred triduum, our the drama continues to expand and unfold into the salvific events of our Lord Jesus Christ. Indeed, life and death, resurrection are themes that are on our mind, especially during these days in which all of us are staying home in order to save lives. Indeed, our homeland is heaven. Our Lord Jesus expresses his solidarity with us in which he weeps for his friend, Lazarus. He is with us. He is always with us in good times and in bad. My dear friends, for the times where we have not shown and expressed our faith that Jesus is the resurrection and the life, let us call to mind our sins in order to prepare ourselves for these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. By your help we beseech you, Lord our God. May we walk eagerly in that same charity with which out of love for the world your Son handed over him, himself over to death. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, O my people, I will open your graves and have you rise from them and bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you shall know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and have you rise from them, O my people. I will put my spirit in you that you may live and I will settle upon your land. Thus you shall know that I am the Lord. I have promised, and I will do it, says the Lord. The Word of the Lord. the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Let your ears be attentive to my voice in supplication. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Lord, who can stand? Lord, who can stand? But with you is forgiveness that you may be revealed with the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption with the Lord there is mercy and fullness of I trust in the Lord, my soul trusts in His word. More than the sentinels wait for the dawn, let Israel wait for the Lord. With the Lord there is mercy. And fullness of redemption. With the Lord there is mercy. And fullness of redemption. 
For with the Lord there is kindness, and with him is plenteous redemption. And he will redeem Israel from all their iniquity. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of A reading from St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, those who are in the flesh cannot please God. But you are not in the flesh. On the contrary, you are in the Spirit, if only the Spirit of God dwells in you. Whoever does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to him. But if Christ is in you, although the body is dead because of sin, the Spirit is alive because of righteousness. If the Spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, the one who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also through his Spirit dwelling in you. The word of the Lord. Please stand. and the life says the Lord whoever believes in me even if he dies will never die 